Hey everybody, I want to talk a little bit about how to sex your crested geckos. Um, it's pretty easy when you're dealing with adults um, how to tell the difference between a male and a female. This guy here is very obviously a male. You can look at the bulge right below the tail, about where the tail starts. It's just behind the vent. That's where they poop from. Um, and He's got that really pronounced bulge there. Females will not have that bulge. This is an adult female um, in comparison to the male. You can see that there's not really any huge bulge or anything going on right at the base of the tail there. And those white things on either side of her tail, they look like two little spikes. Those are spurs. And I've read that they were used, um, or they're thought to be used in aligning during mating. And some breeders do say they can tell whether an animal is male or female by the size of the spurs. But I don't find that to be a very accurate way of sexing them because this girl has some pretty pronounced spurs. And I've seen males with really small spurs, so... I really wouldn't trust that as a sexing method. Personally, that's my opinion. That's great for sexing adult animals, but what happens when you have a juvenile that you want to sex? Or maybe you're just not sure. Maybe you think you have a male whose bulge is small or something. I don't know. Um, you can use their pores to start sexing them. Um, in order to sex with pores, you're going to probably want some form of magnification. Um, this is a 30X jeweler's loop, and this one has a light built into it. Hold it and look at the pore area. I actually would, I actually prefer this kind of jeweler's loop. It goes into your eye socket so that you have two hands free to handle the gecko because they get squirmy when you try to turn them upside down. Um, you could also take a photograph of their underside and um, you can blow that up in Photoshop or whatever you have on your computer to check the area if you can get a nice clean picture. The area you're going to want to check, and this gets harder the smaller the gecko is, is this area right here in front of the vent on the belly. There's the vent down there and you want to check it's going to be a single or double line of pores along the leg area right in there. When you're dealing with a female you're more than likely not going to see any pores. You might see some little dots occasionally and folks call those pseudo pores because they're not real pores but um you won't see, you shouldn't see a line of pores if you're dealing with a female. And I found that the pores generally are, they start to be visible when the animal's around four grams, but sometimes they're, I don't know, they're hard to see until even around nine or 10 grams. Um, if you've got really good eyes, you might catch them a little bit sooner. Take a look at the male. Check out the, oh, thank you, thank you, baby. I, I know I smell like a girl. Yeah, great. You want to check right along this area here. And this guy's cooperating with me well enough that you can kind of see that area. Um you might be able to see the pores. But they just present as a scale, kind of with a dot in the middle. That's what the pores look like. 
and you can see his spurs there, one on each side, like the female has. They're about the same size as the females, so again, I wouldn't judge sex by spurs. If you're finding that you're having a hard time sexing an animal um, just by holding them because they're too squirmy or whatever, you can get a, a piece of plexiglass or you can even put them against their cage wall and take a look at them that way. Sometimes they'll hold still that way, sometimes they won't. But yeah, if you can catch them on the cage wall, that'd be great too. That's easier on them. Just be really careful when you're handling them. Um, when you're trying to sex them. Some animals don't take very well to being turned this way and that. So um, if you find that your animal's acting stressed out, kind of back off a little bit. She's pretty flat down there. There's nothing really going on. Some females will have a little bit of a fatty deposit right near the vent there. Ew. Thanks, Mojito. That's, that's hideously nasty. Can never have a sex ed video without some kind of... Ugh. This is just... Shame on you. Clean it all up. Come on. I don't care if you don't like the taste. Finish it up. All of it. I am not wiping that for you. That's horrifying. Get it. Oh uh, yeah, just so you know, if you're... <laughs> He made it dance. <laughs> if you're getting into crested geckos, just so you know ahead of time. Ugh, he still is dancing. <laughs> Boys will do this pretty often if they're in contact with girls or things that smell like girl geckos. And sometimes when you don't even have a girl gecko, they'll do this. So, uh... Could you, could you finish up there? That's... Ugh. No, don't. You don't need to flex for me. It's... It's really not... This is awful. Clean it up. Don't look at the... Do you know what? The most disturbing thing is that you're looking at the camera. You're not getting paid for this. This is not a pay gig. <laughs> it looks like a baboon's butt and baggy pants. It's just, it's horrifying. Pretty salty, huh? Oh, you wiped it on your eye. Oh. Spermovision.